man, oh man, oh boy. Today is going to be a good day. I can feel it. Welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, everybody. It's me, Waddles. Hope you're doing well. And we have some mystery boxes to open. That's right, classic YouTuber uh, loot boxes. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, but these ones aren't sponsored at all. Uh, they're from my AFK fish farm. So I've done some AFKing, some fishing, and. Uh, just like we did last time with with the old loot no, that I moved over here, by the way. It's all organized like crazy. Um, uh, but just like we did with that loot, I'd like to go through this for the first time on camera. This AFK session was not as long. Like, uh, nowhere near as long as the last one. So, let's start. Uh, we're looking for good enchantments. Um, good enchantments means mending. <laughs> we're looking for one thing and one thing only. Uh, Frostwalker 2 is pretty cool, though, on that book. Um, lots of trident enchantments, as always, it seems. Um, wow, two piercing three. Uh, another one. <laughs> um, power, quick charge. Uh, oh, man. Uh, ha. Um... That's too bad. <laughs> no mending. That's fine. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I'll I'll uh, I'll keep it cool. I'll I'll be upset later. Um, but uh, we are going to switch things up on camera today, and uh, well, one talk about what we did last episode. This thing, this beautiful little farm area, and the sugarcane farm, which uh, I'd like to see how much we have. Um, okay, one, two, three, four, five ish stacks from from my AFK session. I wish I timed it. It was. Probably like, I don't know, three hours, maybe? I don't know. Um, maybe not, maybe more like two, but uh, we're switching things up. Comment of the day in the beginning of the video. So, episode 31, that's today. Um, today's comment is from Potato Head. The comment was, Hello Waddles, Minecraft Guide is my first series on your channel. So it would really help me if someone would uh, tell me how the comment of the day works. Smile emoji. Ah, uh, so... Uh, the comment of the day, um, I, I'd, I'd like to talk about that. So each episode, we we take a look at a comment that relates to something in this world, or or just Minecraft in general, maybe me, it could be about my life, um, and, I, and I answer it. I'll pick it at random from one of the last episodes, not necessarily the last one, and uh, yeah, I, I just answer it in the video. You get a little shout out, um, you like your name's in the video. So that's what the comment of the day is. It could be a question. It could be really anything that is uh, good. So a, a good comment, basically. And um, you can maybe get in it more than once if you have a really good comment. So um, yeah, uh, this isn't always going to stay here either. We are uh, maybe going to work on the new home for that today, which... We'll be over here on the hill. It's time to ramp things up, guys. Like, <laughs> I was looking around the world, and, and I like what we have. Don't get me wrong. I, I think we have some really, really cool builds, but I'd like to ramp it up. So, uh, today, we are embarking on the Grand Library. The Great Grand Library, where we will be enchanting, storing things, and doing other things. Like, uh, maybe the comment of the day. I, I feel like that could kind of fit in this build. Uh, the library will sit on this hill, and it will look over there. So by the end of the episode, this whole area over here will look completely different. The goal is to get the whole shell of the building today, and then do the interior, um, like another time or something. Uh, I'm, I'm not too sure when, really. But yeah, that is the plan for today. Now, I have to be honest. I, I, I was having some trouble finding inspiration for the library for some time, and I didn't really know where to start, so... I did uh, what I recommend um, uh, to anyone. Uh, go to Google Images, search whatever your build is, and um, look at the pictures. Take some inspiration. Definitely make the build your own, and that's what we will be doing. But I was inspired by a, a really strong, sturdy-looking library. And, you know, I feel like the library should be a, a sturdy, strong build. So uh, what's the strongest shape ever? Uh, probably a square. Squares are really, really solid, right? Or, or rectangles. Um and that's what we will be doing. So the front will look out over there. This will be kind of a wing. Um, and yeah, big rectangle. <laughs> uh, so that's what I'm thinking. Uh, we should probably start with cobblestone and mark down a shape. So um, the build will be two stories, maybe three. Uh, one, two, well, let's see. One, two, three. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Three, what if we want three, right? Like that. And then we had a beam. So... We'll have to terraform even more. So we have three there, and then 
Uh, this could be the front of our build over here. Uh, so we only have to terraform out a little bit, uh, which is what I would prefer. I wouldn't like to make it too crazy. Um, so we'll go three out there, and then we might as well make it symmetrical and go three out um, the back really quick. So three, and, and I'm talking the three in between the beams, by the way. Um, I, I like to do threes or fives on even amounts so we can, you know, do... Um, arches <laughs> so i can do arches uh but uh, the front of the build so this will come all the way out uh over to here and i'll i'll fill it in um and, and we'll definitely like re-terraform this a little bit so we have a garden out front not just like a drop a drop would be weird um but we could go one two three right uh then then maybe a beam and i think we could keep this three thing going on so three beam uh one two three beam uh, so now we have three on one side. Then we could do the middle. Um, that might be good, honestly. Like like three segments of three, and then a middle, which should probably be one, two, three, four, five. Extra room there. Um, then the same thing, repeated over, going down that way. I think that would make uh, plenty of room for what we need. With three stories here, like that's got to be more than enough. So um, I think it's time to. To, mm, I don't like the sounds of this, but we have to deforest. <laughs> the trees have to go away a little bit, and I'd like to to maybe try my hand at terraforming the mountain a little bit. Not a lot, uh, but just a little bit. Um, another thing that I'd like to mention with the build is um, we'll, we'll do it raised. So um, the floor will be up here, like, like here. So this will be like cobblestone along the bottom to keep it strong, with mossy, of course, and... Um, yeah, we will be using lots of, uh, wool in the build as well. Uh, that's what I've been stocking up on, uh, uh, pretty much, uh, half of a double chest full of wool now, uh, of white wool. So we're set with that. I don't have to worry about it. The only thing I need to worry about is wood and stone, smooth stone. I don't have a lot of smooth stone. Um, but anyways, it, it's time for me to go ahead and, and clear out the forest, level the land and get our build in a better spot. I have quite a bit of land raising to do on the back side of this build, so I should really get to work. Uh, wish me luck. It, well, I don't really need luck. It's easy. <laughs> uh, but, but wish me luck anyways, please. You know, a little pause here. Let's make an anvil um, to keep over here by the enchantment setup. Every enchantment setup should have an anvil so you can move enchantments onto things. And then let's try our hand at enchanting a shiny, shiny diamond shovel. What would we get? Unbreaking three, I already like it. Uh, shovels, I feel like you always need unbreaking no matter. Efficiency three. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, will this insta mine? Let's see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. No insta mining. Oh man. Uh, but I'm sure I have an efficiency book over in the fish farm. Not a big deal. Uh, the unbreaking is the big thing. I always feel like you need unbreaking on a shovel or it. Oh, it insta mines normal dirt. Okay. Uh huh. That's not bad. Not bad at all. I am even more happy now. Um, yeah. Nice. Uh, this build is going to be the largest build that we've done in this world, like, by far. Like, take a look at, uh, this. <laughs> uh, this, this is fairly large, I would say. This is definitely going to be the biggest library that I've ever built, like, in all of my years of playing Minecraft. Hopefully, 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 I can pull it off. Uh, but, now, the next part of the build. So, uh, we will go up six blocks, so one, two, three, four, five five six like that i think I, I think six would be a nice height uh so then again one two three four five six like that lots of wood and then on the inside we'll be doing stone and glass um and andesite i i think we need to texture the build right so i will texture it with stone and andesite then on the top part of the build we'll come in uh well i'll, I'll show you once we get to it but we'll come in with like like a pop-out um, section. So so the walls pop out a little bit. Um, kind of like I was thinking about doing on the, the fish building, if you guys saw that episode. And um, then we'll do white wool, and then the top will we'll, we'll have a roof on it. Um, then the front, or like the entrance, will 
we'll have something like this, right? Like a little walkout, and I'll have to figure out how I can get a staircase down this mountain because um, we're kind of tight on space. But I think something like that could look really, really cool. I don't know, though. Um, I, I'm just kind of unsure. The glass in the middle will be um, gray and, and black, kind of randomized. I think that would be really cool. And then lots of plants I'm picturing on the ground out front to help spruce the lower part of the buildup because it will be a lot of gray i'm, I'm fully aware of that uh, but i think that's okay um you know the the grays uh will give a solid solid strong base and and that's what i'm going for i want the build to look very sturdy like you know like if there were a tornado or something crazy like i could come over here and hide in it you know like like that strong um and and lots of windows too because this is probably the the best mountain for building or hill whatever you want to call it um over in this area so we need to take advantage of it um then pretty much the same thing on the turns here you know um beams going up uh windows like that then something on the front I, i'm a little unsure of how i want to do this uh still like i'm thinking maybe some sort of s small pop out and then like an arch or, or something and then um this would all be open then over here we'll have like an actual wall with a door right so from the distance it looks like just an open build but then you get closer and it's safe because i definitely can't have creepers wandering inside of this thing while i like afk or something um so yeah that's that's kind of the next step of the build and what i'm thinking and yeah the the inside is the tree growing operation i really need a tree farm somewhere like where i can just grow trees walk away uh the saplings are collected so Maybe we go on uh, the journey uh, for a tree farm very, very soon. But uh, overall, that's that's what I'm thinking with the build so far, I I think. And um, yeah, I, I think that's good. So um, I think it's, again, uh, time for me to just jump back into the build and get this in. I, I never know how to do these big builds, guys. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I never know, like, do I show it all on camera or do I cut in and and say, this is what I'm going to do. And, and uh, uh, you yeah, know, like, I never know. So I don't know, like smaller builds, it's easy, right? Like I can just show it all on camera um, or most of it. But these huge builds, I don't think you really want to, to hear me ramble over this part of the build for that long like like do you really like really uh, i don't know <laughs> um i'm thinking about mixing some cracked stone bricks in here on these walls too by the way i don't know though um just thinking about it Oh, and, and by the way, the whole sixth thing, where did that come from? Well, um, it, it's the same height as this dome. Uh, if you take a look at how I set that up, that, that six, I, I want it to all be even for now. So, yep, uh, if you were wondering, uh, huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy, this is going to be big. Uh, it's going to be big. Well, now we're on to the tricky part of the build. Um... There it is, back there, huge. I, other than the entrance, I'm skipping that for now. It's fine. I, I, th I think that'll be pretty easy. Uh, but the top part. So we uh, need to figure out how to do this. Um, so the idea here is that the wall pops out, right? Like, um, I think we would, or we could kind of just create these sections um you know like s straight across and probably up and down as well um let's see um if we were to fill all of this in and say i don't know uh should we do a three high window um uh, maybe a four just to make sure the build doesn't look too short um but the the question here is um this top part of the build is it flat like that oh definitely not <laughs> well question answered um yeah nope not like that uh yeah that's a little more like it i i think if we had the depth on the build where's a good viewing spot maybe this bridge um yeah something like that you see how i um uh, popped all of those beams out um, i think that's what we want and 
Uh, this whole layer will be framed. I think we'll have wood beams going all the way along this this side, and then we'll have the white walls with, with the four high windows, um, and it's still six tall, so I, I didn't think about that. This wall is uh, six tall, the lower part, and the, the upper part is also uh, six tall. So that'll be floor two, and then floor three will really just be more of an attic, um, but we'll probably be able to walk around in it given the scale of this build so um that is the next the next story the next floor um for the most part uh, what i'd like to do on the underside in here is probably some spruce wood showing through like some slabs on the top half of these blocks um i think that would be the best way to uh, do all of this and then the floor can be we could do a ceiling and then if well no, we, we would be able to do a floor here, and then we could do a ceiling, like half slabs if we wanted to, but I'm thinking uh, like a balcony in, in the inside, so uh, we'll see, but that is the next part of the build, and I I think I've explained it all pretty well, uh, other than the corner. The corner is the one spot that I am kind of unsure about, because we'll have this, right, like uh, to copy it over on this side, and by the way, I'm thinking about maybe like on this side, because we have the dome, uh, or that thing on that side maybe on this side we have like another entrance because our storage room will probably end up being right in there our storage building um but yeah anyways these corners so how do i do these i could totally just go like straight up here with six uh so one two three four five six that might just be the best way to do it and then we have the beam here i i think that's how we'll do it um i think yeah mm -hmm. uh let's go with that and uh by the way by the way um, we'll probably end up going one more and starting the roof above it, but I don't know if I really need to actually do that all as wood if, if it's not going to be seen, right? I'd rather do it with something cheaper. Um, so yep, that's this part of the build, and um, yep, I think that's pretty much everything that I need to say. I, I might end up leaving the windows on this story open. Um, I'll block spawns on those somehow, and... Um, yeah, I, I think the open concept could be kind of cool to see, so we'll see. I don't know yet, really, just just thinking out loud, I guess. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> that's the build. That's what I'm thinking. Uh-huh. On the front over here, I think we'll go uh, just straight across, and we'll have a different roof line on that entry piece, like um, like a 45-degree angle one, just, just going over that part, so... Yep, that's what I'm thinking with that as well. Um, trying to think about any other part of the build that I should explain before I cut away. Uh, I, I think I've explained pretty much everything. I'll I'll maybe come back in with the glass. Um, and then this part, I, I don't really know what that should be yet. Maybe this entry area should be all wood or something. That could be kind of cool. But uh, one more time, let's, let's take a look at what we have and see... Uh, yeah, 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 I think that's it. That is, or, or should be perfect. Okay, uh, back to the build. Oh, 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 that's what I can talk about. This side over here. So, um, this whole wall design will just end. It'll stop here, and then I'd still like to do a glass dome, just entirely glass over here. No floor two of this or in this area. So um, yeah, I uh, that's what I'm thinking. I should maybe, maybe, maybe in between um, like little cuts here, go over to the desert uh, out that way across the ocean um, because sand is definitely going to be a problem. If I'd like to get the glass in on today's build um, today then I need more sand. So uh, maybe I'll go do that. I, I, I totally should. Okay, well, welcome back. Welcome, welcome. I, I really, really never know how to do these builds on camera, but I think you will be happy to, to see this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
So, um, the whole second part of the build, or the, the, the second floor is done, and it is uh, terraformed over here, and uh, it's just about time to, to finish up the build. So, one more big final part of, of what we have to do. Now, for this part, we need a lot, a lot, a lot of staircases. So, um, over here. Uh, and, and some slabs as well, some, some slabs. Okay, so the roof, how do we want to do this? Well, the build is absolutely massive. I can't just say, um, oh, well, uh, pointed roof, done. Uh, that, that'll look good, because it won't. It, that would look really, really bad. So, what we need to do is, I think, something like, uh, this here. So, let me go ahead and, and, Get a little bit of it in, maybe maybe this corner over here, and uh, then I think uh, you'll get the picture. So um, here we go. This is what I'm imagining. Um, should probably get down. Uh, I always hate jumping off of this build. It's it's pretty tall, but um, that corner over there is a showcase of of what I want. I think we can see it from yeah over here. So. Um, all I'm doing is I'm going up at a 45 degree angle, so that means like, you know, like boom, boom, and then up and up. I went up four times, and then along the top we'll do like wood, and we'll have a flat roof. I think that would be the best way to do the, the roof of the build, because then we could stand on it and, and look around, and if I don't like it, I can always add like a, a middle dome or, or something cool on it, and I, I think that would look really, really good while um, also not being too complex. I, I don't really want this build to get overly complex and crazy because it's already massive and there's going to be a whole lot going on with it once we're done, like banners and plants and, and windows and, and everything cool like that. So um, that's the roof. That's what I'm thinking. And uh, it, it'll be big. It'll be big and flat. So now I, I think it's about time for me to go ahead and just wrap up the build in, in one final jump one final move, uh, so so wish me luck, and when we come back, the dome might even be in. I'd like to just finish most of this exterior stuff, so wish me luck, and, and let's go. Um, let's get this done. Uh, aha. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 uh, one final thing. Let's, let's talk about this really, really quick. So, um, beam, right? And then... Uh, another beam, and these will go up, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll just keep with the six number. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Then I'm thinking wood in here instead of every, like, stone thing and, and, and all of that. So, uh, maybe we get some spruce wood, and we'll do some sort of spruce arch on the front, and then the roof will be a simple one. Very, very simple. Done with... Um, just stone brick staircases. By the way, um, on the top of the build, I'm doing all gray blocks, so, um, if lightning were to strike my build, uh, nothing would happen. I have fire spread on in the world right now, and I don't know, I'm a little afraid, honestly, of this thing potentially getting struck and, and burnt down, so, you know, um, yeah. Uh, but that, uh, something like this probably will be for the entrance, but I'll, I'll bring those down so it's a little, um, like, better looking on either side, like, with, like, a, a stone block or something. Uh, something like that, I think. Um, so that'll be the entrance. Uh, but yep. Um, okay. Well, 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 I have very, very good news to share with you. The build, the thing we've been working on, well, would you take a look at this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is in and uh, finished for the most part. I have the dome over on that side that I'll uh, show you in the middle or in a minute when we're inside. And uh, the outside is starting. Big, big word or big important part starting to get detailed i am nowhere near done with with the outside of it and you know making sure it looks cool and detailed um i have to do stuff like this like adding um 
like lanterns all around it and everything. I, I want this whole build to be super fancy. I also need to add the plants here. I talked about maybe doing that in this episode, but at this point, I, I think I'm done with the build for now. <laughs> I think I need to, to, to step away from it for a little while. I have done quite a bit of work today, and I know another giant A. Uh, but the inside here, so no ceiling quite yet. Uh, this is really just a shell here, and uh, the dome over here looks pretty nice to me. I did the black and the gray glass, and then uh, black and gray glass all the way around as well. Keep in mind that the floor will be um, like up here, so we'll be walking even with the window, so that'll be kind of nice. Um, we'll be able to see out of it. We'll have tons of bookcases in here, some, some storage. We will be storing stuff in here, and uh, the view. Uh, I, I need to show you this. The view uh, from on top of this thing is amazing. Like, this is the the best view uh, it, in in anywhere. Uh, like, you, you'll see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's really, really, like, like that's a view. Um, you can see, like, everything over here. Um, it, it, it's just so cool. The swamp is way closer than I thought, but that's still pretty far. And yeah, I, I, I think this is the biggest build that, or one of the biggest builds I've ever done. Um, we're like way, way up there. So uh, I'll come back in and put something on the roof and then like fences for sure. And, and lighting up here and, and everything like that. Maybe buttons on the cobblestone to block spawns. I'm not too sure yet. I, I definitely don't want creepers dive bombing me off of that, but I think that is where we will be leaving this grand giant library today uh, for now. So uh, tell me what you think. D do you like it? Do you, do you think I should change it all like 100%? Just blow it up. Uh, tell me down below and um, thank you very much um, for watching this episode. I'd like to send a special shout out to Fred Monster. Um, for the support, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>